Everything in this video is located on a public domain. Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Lots of love and many blessings your way. And thank you so much for all that contribute to my channel. Guess who had a birthday yesterday? You guys, Megan turned 38 in dog years yesterday. She was telling everybody that the Queen had a special tea set up for at Balmoral Castle, which we all know was not the case. In fact, what was told to me by my journalist friend, thank you, was the Queen made it a point to let Harry and Meghan both know, please stay where you're at. I'm on vacation. I need a break. Instead, they left some very friendly messages on Instagram for for a birthday, but the one I love the most is from her loving husband, Harry, in which he writes, Happy birthday to my amazing wife. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. An adventure it is, I might say, for him. I want you guys just to take a second, relax, listen to the music, but pay attention to his face. Let's talk really fast about the adventure that he's been on with his amazing wife over the last year. What we know is she was forcing him to have hair plugs put in. So he's walking around with pubic hair on his head. And do you guys remember when they leaked out that he had to be put back on his antidepressants? And they upped the dose. <laughs> okay, so in October, it'll make a year that I've been talking to one of their close family friends. I'm nosy, and I wanted to know her real age. How old is this woman? All they would tell me, you guys, is this. In Hollywood, as an actress, whether you're doing commercials, soap operas, or movies, you have to stay young to be relevant. And more often than not, actresses will change the year they were born. And this person having loyalty to her, I don't know why would not tell me any more than that and i can respect that i don't think i'd blow my family up either tell you this she didn't get her lack of loyalty from her daddy's son now i absolutely love what the queen did happy birthday to the duchess of sussex she was born this day in 1981. <laughs> the thing that bugs me the most i can't stand the lies it's like all the time a lie just like all the pictures that we see of her touching her face, I was curious why she always tugging her ear. So I decided to do a little research, and here's what I found out. Whether you're tugging your ear, you're messing with your hair, you're rubbing your nose, you're squeezing your cheek, you're resting your hands all over your face. Do you know what that is? That is your own mind distracting you from the lies that you're telling and it's trying to calm you down inside so nobody else sees that you're a liar. Now, since the tea thing with the queen was a no-go, she decided to have a family day to celebrate her birthday. It's being said that she deliberately excluded both William and Kate to help celebrate her birthday at the family day. I don't think they stayed up all night worrying about it just the same. Now, I've heard that Harry wasn't even there throughout the entire day. But her sister came out and talked a little bit, and let's talk about that real fast. 
Her sister stepped forward and called her out saying the christening pictures looked completely fake. And they do. They're totally photoshopped. You know, Joe Magi made a perfect point. Kate looks like a giant in comparison to everybody else. And in my own opinion, I've studied the pictures enough, trust me. I don't think these are, are the same child. I just do not think this is the same baby. And whether or not they have a pulse, I think both of those babies are adorable. But I'm so thankful that her sister stepped forward and actually spoke out and said something. Not a lot of people come to YouTube and listen to people, you know? So they rely on the media to, to know what's up, sadly. And I'm glad that her sister stepped forward and talked about it. Maybe more people will start taking notice. I think it's hilarious because this is the same sister she says she barely knows. Now, I've always heard that her sister spent way more time with her than her own mother did. Samantha said it's a shame that her sister had the audacity to walk into a church knowing how disrespectful she's been to the family, especially her own dad who she traded in for royalty. I was told a few months back, right before the baby was born, that they legally got Samantha's book out of the way. But good news, a couple of days ago, it was told to me that the book is being tweaked, finishing up the editing, and about to hit the shelves. And I'm so excited to get my hands on this book. I wish it would come Samantha autograph. But wait, Megan herself book in the works, many books, if you haven't heard. She is now about to be the author of children's books centered around her dogs. One of her beloved dogs was left behind in Canada and the other one she brought along with her to London ended up with two mysteriously broken legs. I think she's already started writing books. A couple of days ago, a viewer had left a comment under one of my videos sharing this information. I apologize for not getting your name, but I thank you very much. Whether this was written by her or not, check out the description. I couldn't help but find it funny. So much more to come, you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys, I'll see you soon. We'll talk fast. Stay safe and be blessed.